Hey, welcome back to Copperhead Customs and a new episode on our 39 Bedford Rack Truck $5,000 build. Under, under five grand. If you are new to the channel, this is your first time seeing us, go down here and have a look. There's 20 episodes on that. We're building a 1940. This is going to be another $5,000 build. 1940 Chev. Oh, there's heaps of other cars. 54 Pontiac Star Chief. We've got uh, we've got projects everywhere. We've got a 32 Ford, a 28 Oakland, a 70 Pontiac, a Corvette up there. There's 55. Man, there's all sorts of stuff here we can do. So today we're still working on this. So this is getting very, very close to being finished. Um, and if you've been watching, then you know where we're at. So uh, in the last episode, we did the bonnet. This is what we did. We did this little technique. Uh, fake patina patches. These are cut out of a bonnet of a Suzuki Swift bonnet just to, for the metal because, yeah, that's how we're doing it. Uh, what we do here is we try to do uh, everything as cheap as possible. Basically, to make a $5,000 build, that's what you got to do. So... Uh, yeah, that was a Suzuki Swift bonnet that we chopped up for the metal instead of going and buying metal. Yeah, uh, a bonnet that was dented, no good to anyone. So we chopped it up and scabbed the metal. And so we made that. We also went inside the interior. It's probably a bit dark in there. I've got the lights on. But you'll see the uh, we put all that in, in the back. There, yeah, all that metal in the back. There was a big hole in there. So uh, the plan today is... We still got this little hole here and there. That little hole we want to patch up. We need to mount the handbrake properly. So drill two holes in the back. And we're going to uh, probably put a couple of little packers, little uh, bushes, I'll make some little bushes to just raise it up 10 mil and bolt it down there. So we'll do that. What we'll also do is we'll have a look at this, this piece of wood here broke. It's meant to be up a lot taller, so we'll we'll do a, a a repair on that. I'll show you how I'm going to do that, and then we're going to look at making um, mounting that B and M shifter and making a little center console type to make that shifter look a bit more old. So we're going to look at doing that. That's the plan. We don't well. I nearly said it. Nearly said plan. We don't like making plans because it all goes wrong. That's what we will attempt. We'll attempt to do that. Okay, then if we have time, we'll see how we go. We've got the floor, which is over there, which we chopped out, the floor we made. We can look at putting that back in and getting this inside this cab finished up. We've also probably run some seam sealer uh, along the back edge. So that is what we will attempt. <laughs> what we pull off, we don't know. But all we do know is the car's getting closer and closer and closer to being finished. Um, if, 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 like I said, if you're new, we just make stuff. So here we've got a couple of door handles. That's a little 8mm spanner with an old antique handle. I think it's probably off of a teapot or something. That's how we made our door handles. Like, uh, we just, you know, make out of what we can. Which is what rat riding's about, isn't it? So the plan with this is, yeah, like I've said, we are um, going to have this drive down the road for five thousand dollars. The cab we found in the paddock. I don't know. It's on the list of what we paid for it. I have to go look. I think it's five hundred bucks we paid for the cab. We bought a chassis, running a little two hundred two six cylinder. So it's all happening. Cheap little budget build, just to show you that it can be done. All right, so enough rambling on. Let's uh, let's see what we can pull off today. A reaper. <laughs> Yeah, upgrading, call it to a side of the old degenerate. 
the demons quiet Yeah, we were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet Yeah, we were built to thrive, yeah When I'm running, I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything Takes it some time and some clarity to find your identity. It's mind over everything. And when I feel like this, I'm immortal. When I feel like this, I'm immortal.
taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take a new song And you cannot save me Cause I don't need saving It's everything I've been chasing All here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts, people who are half nuts You are not as tough as me <laughs> So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better yeah. days Right, we are back As you can see, I got me freaking cool hat on <laughs> If you don't know, this is a welder's hat, alright? That's a welder's hat. Stop sparks burning your head. See, and it goes on your neck. And they always have them in stupid patterns. I don't know why. I really don't know why. But anyway. That's... <laughs> Even most welders don't do them. It's, it's pretty much a pipe welder, pipe fitter thing. I don't know. Anyway, they're actually pretty good. See, your ears are covered. And your neck's covered. You don't get burnt. Anyway, so now you've seen me looking like an idiot. Whew, we'll take that off. And this is what we've come up with. Now, it doesn't look very good at the moment because I haven't done the stained all the wood and done all me weird stuff to the wood and smashed it with a chain and whatever you. But uh, this is what we're going to build. This is what we're building. So we've got rid of the plastics around. As you can see, all right, we'll go. We'll, we'll rewind. Uh, handbrake is all mounted. Uh, we even run more. We box this in first. You can see that's all boxed in. We just got the little hole now for the handbrake only. We drilled a couple of holes in the back. Drilled some down there. Uh, I don't know if you can see them there, but we made a couple of little bushes to bring this up so that it cleared 
wanted it clearing that. So here you go, look. Boom, handbrake. See? Release. Boom, and you can actually, see, hear the ratchet. All right, so the handbrake is working. Woohoo! Now, the only piece of decent hardwood that was big enough that I could find was split. So we put these, uh, we got these old rusty brakes, braces, which if you will remember, I actually have got on my running boards as little treads. So yeah, we put them on there to hold that together. Uh, we've had to notch all this in. Oh yeah, we also did the, if you can see in there or not, um, the little plate there, it's pretty hard to see. But anyway, we got this piece back on. On the top, we've got two plates, one there and one there, and uh, screwed them on, and then painted the bolts to make them look old, but you can't even see them anymore. Uh, and then if you look in there, we've got a piece of the greeny wood. Now, uh, if you remember on the tray, on the tray I've got a couple of pieces of that green wood on there. So yeah, I put that on there. And we've got a piece at the back. Uh, it's hard to see, but yeah, there's a piece there as well. Now none of that's bolted up yet or anything, because I've got to pull it all to pieces. Uh, the actual shifter, now, working as you can see all right so there's the shifter work so the shifter's bolted down but i have to unbolt it and just cut a little tiny hole for the where the cable's going to go now also i don't know if you've seen we'll see on time lapse the hole there i cut a circle disc and tacked it in that hole and the hole that was underneath the shifter the rectangle one i cut a piece and and tacked that in and over there there was like a angle bracket and there was a hole there and we've put a piece in there and tacked that in so that actual panel on the bottom has no holes anymore yeah then we've mounted the shifter down we've made this wooden top and yeah so that's what we're going to do then we've bolted in there that won't be there i'm going to put a hole now this was like a breather i think it's for the brakes but i just think it's a cool little piece so i think i'm going to drill a hole somewhere and mount this I don't know where, but somewhere in here, we'll work it out. We're going to stick that in, a little piece. And the other thing I may do is I may drill another hole in there for a uh, for a cigarette lighter plug for so we can charge our phones. I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I don't really. Doesn't matter how old the car is or whatever well, you still need to charge phone don't you so um i have a gps or something so i'm thinking um yeah i might nick one of them out of maybe a suzuki swift console the little 12 volt plug and we might drill a hole in the console there for that uh and then we uh bolted up these two stubby holders they're going to be our cup holders and then we've got a little area in there stick your crap your phone or whatever and then well there's a little thing there like you know the wife put her handbag there or something but if you remember what we did is we left the seats here because remember we have a piece that goes on here so we've actually got this this is like a little shelf in here that we left open to put stuff as well but you know we've got to put a you know it might be whatever it might be a jumper lead or little toolkit or you know your lunch <laughs> whatever so yeah that's where we're headed with the um, center console I think we've done all right um, yeah I'll finish that tomorrow I think we'll finish that tomorrow I nearly had enough for today so tomorrow we'll uh, pull it all back out and pull it all to pieces and I'll cut a little hole for the cable the shifter cable i'll probably mount the shifter cable on then we'll mount it all back in and we will uh we've got to mess with the wood like so we will smash it with some chains and hit it with the grinder a bit and make it look a bit older and then what we'll do is we will uh probably put we will do what we do the crazy stuff we'll do a uh, i'll probably put a red stain on and then i'll probably put a gray wash 
varnish like it's like a water-based gray wash varnish on to give us that gray tinge and um, we need to do this piece of wood at the back too and uh, then we will hit it with the um, marine spa high gloss varnish and I don't know what tell us what you think about that I think it looks I think it's pretty cool I think it's looking pretty cool um, yeah Sarah, this isn't immediately, remember, this is my second plan because I had the baddest ass big long shifter that went up like right here, that made up for the manual. But yeah, now we're running the auto, we're running that B&M shifter. So yeah, it has to look sort of, this is our way of making it look a bit old. And like I said, it doesn't look old yet, but when I finish with that bit of wood tomorrow, that will look cool. It will look ready as. So, um, all right. And then, um, yeah, so you'll see the finished product on that. So I reckon like, that's pretty cool. So tomorrow we should get uh, get that done. That will be our attempt. <laughs> see that? I didn't say plan. I said attempt. That will be our, what we'll attempt is to finish that off. And then we're looking pretty cool in here, eh? Uh, we just need to seam seal our gaps around the back quickly. And, yeah. Varnish all that up, bolt it all so we can put some bolts through there that way and we can put some bolts down and it's all pretty sturdy even not bolting it. Is that it's all in there that tight, see it's all like pretty well all wedged in, so it's not really going anywhere. And we'll put a couple of nice little screws down in there, put that down and Bob's your uncle, we got cup holders. Yeah. So yeah, tomorrow like I said, I think we'll dig the twelve volt thing out, we'll put a little hole in for that, and we'll put a uh, we'll put that little piece in. This little breather piece, I think that just looks cool. Something else to make it look a bit older. We'll throw that in, and yeah, I reckon we look good. So then, once that's done, uh, interior-wise, we've got to pull out the gauges, swap the gauges and that out for the good ones. Uh, we've got to do the floor, put our floor back in. So yeah, they probably. This week, I'd say we'll have the I'll have the interior finished, seats back in, the interior bolted up. Other than wiring, where we're done inside, I think. So that's we're kicking more goals. But yeah, tell us what you think about that so far. Tell us what you think. I think it uh, it's all right. Alrighty, so I'm going inside to have dinner, and uh, I don't think I'm doing to do any more tonight, and we'll. Uh, Readjourn tomorrow. The other thing, oh, yeah, the other thing is our uh, wiring kit came in, and our standard coil came, not our electronic ignition one. And we got our uh, carby repair, blah, 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 carby repair kit. Hopefully I've got the right one. So I would say uh, that um, oh, probably the next video we might do that carby. That will be some fun, eh? I've never done one. So we'll all be learning on that. So I think the next one we might do that. But yeah, we're kicking goals on the car now. So like I said, we'll get that interior bolted get those seats in it bang the interior can be done and then we can pretty much start the tray so um yeah i'll see you tomorrow wait welcome back so what we're going to do is we're going to end that end this end this video now and you are going to have to watch the next one to see the end result <laughs> so what we're going to do is go and and thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow reaper and if you thought you were missing out you weren't a reaper
Bari 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 b